of Jesus Christ, who says that what sir he did or did not do to the Lord. And there was the need for legal clarification. But now that we have that available to us, we are looking to expand access, particularly as so many patients across the region are struggling to find appointments. This is one more way that people will be able to access a very safe and necessary procedure. Same here. She's a Then they will come into the health center at their appointment time. They will um, go through the informed consent process. They'll see staff who um, do blood work, do education, talk to them about the procedure. Um, and then they will interact with a physician remotely. The physician will be offsite, uh, but they'll see someone on screen. And then they will receive mifepristone, which is the first step in the protocol. It's a huge leap forward as far as increasing appointment availability, but we have staff who are on site and trained right now to do ultrasound, to do education, to provide medication. It, it's not that different. So I think we want to go through the process and make sure that it is exactly what it seems to be, which is a pretty clear cut way to increase people's access to abortion care. So I think we will likely be able to expand pretty quickly. been up and running here since june 28th okay. so you know spring court overturned roe 